What's up guys, Takab Shiro, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling well and today I wanted to do a little speed comparison just like you guys requested a couple of weeks ago but now finally the iOS 11.2 is out and of course you can go ahead and download this one in your settings, general software updates without any profiles or developer accounts so it's now public and it's time to of course compare this one to the previous one, the iOS 11.1.2 on my iPhone 5s. Unfortunately I don't have the iOS 11.1.2 but I do have the iOS 11.1, but it's basically the same version as you know, speed wise, they have absolutely no differences between those two versions. But now, let's go ahead and dive into the test, guys, and let's test the speed on this device. And all right, so the first test will be the apps opening times test. So we're gonna cycle through all of these apps that we have on the home screen, basic apps that you usually use on a daily basis. And I have a little stopwatch right there. So we're gonna record uh, this amount of time that this will take for the iPhone to load all of them. Now, enjoy. Alright, so that took around 1 minute and 12 seconds, which is a pretty bad result for the iPhone 5S. Now, let's go ahead and update to the iOS 11.2 and do the same test on there. Alright, so just restarted my iPhone and of course updated this one to the iOS 11.2. Now, let's go ahead and do this test once again on the firmware and see if it's any better than the previous one. So, in 3, 2 and 1. Alright, so I can honestly tell you guys that it's much more faster and more responsive. So as you can see that finished uh, like 11 seconds less than the previous one. So there is definitely an improvement in the iOS 11.2 and it's just much more responsive. Seriously, opening the first apps like messages in the calendar were just instantly, almost instantly like on the iPhone 6s. So that is pretty good. Now I wanted to focus on some uh, bugs and glitches that were present on the iOS 11.1, which basically ruined the whole iPhone experience and made this device device unusable. Now let's go ahead and see if they were fixed. So first of all is the widgets panel. As you can see the scrolling isn't that bad. So you can scroll, you know, there is no uh, almost no FPS dropping uh, frames and stuff like this. So as you can see that's pretty good. Also yeah, the control center. So let's go here, the control center. Uh, yeah, so it's it's much more responsive definitely. So that's for sure. Also the notification center or the lock screen as you can see, it just recognizes my touches and stuff like this. Well, previously it would not do such a thing. So let's lock the device and then instantly unlock it. As you can see, there is no this choppy animation when unlocking the device. So it's pretty usable. I can say the iOS 11.2 finally fixed a lot of bugs and these glitches and made this device absolutely usable, I think. So as you can see, launching settings, it just doesn't take too much time. Uh, messages. It's almost instant, so I'm pretty happy that Apple did such a thing on the iPhone 5S on the iOS 11.2. And of course, talking about the battery life, guys, this was not improved by any means, so if you jump into the iOS 11.2, this will not be fixed on your iPhone 5S, 7 or any other device. We need to expect a battery fix really soon, I guess, on the iOS 11.3, uh, so I'm pretty sure they will drop it on there. Uh, but yeah, of course, if you jump onto the iOS 11.2, this will give you a lot of difference in performance and of course bug fixes so as you can see that's that's really good that uh, you can finally use your device like you did on 10.3.3 but it's not you know it's not like a 10.3.3 but it's pretty usable so of course make sure you update to this firmware right now because you know there's no way you should stay on the iOS 11.1 and yeah guys I mean this should be pretty much it all of these changes and stuff like this you know I actually experienced on my iPhone 7 plus so that's why I'm saying that's why uh, I actually see them on here as well of course, yeah, widgets panel, maybe it's not as responsive as I want it to be, but uh, hey, this is the iPhone 5S. <laughs> it shouldn't be, you know, more responsive than on the iPhone 7 Plus. But I guess, I mean, this should be pretty much it. Just wanted to make a little video comparing this to firmware and also showing you guys that it's clearly visible that iOS 11.2 is much more faster, snappier, and just uh, much, much better in terms of the performance. So, of course, you need to update to this one right now. Uh, and yeah, guys, I mean, this should be pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, of 
course drop a like on this videos to support me i will appreciate this one a lot and as always guys i really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out